Hello. Today we're going to disassemble Dell Inspiron 5567. The laptop is here for uh, uh, thermal paste uh, replacement, fan cleaning, and uh, that type of stuff. Uh, the first thing, of course, we're going to remove all the screws from the back, starting with the optical drive. The screws should be the same size. I haven't opened this model lately. Uh, we'll see. Probably the, the upper cover with the keyboard is coming off since it's, uh, there is no uh, service holes on the back. Also, there is three screws under the optical drive, so don't forget about them. Now, with all the screws removed, we're going to flip the laptop. Uh, we have one more here. And we're going to start separating both halves. You can use a guitar pick, you can use a credit card, whatever you have. Like this. Now the other the other side now with both parts separated we're gonna flip the laptop again and we're gonna open the back cover like this <sighs> now let's see the first thing before we do anything on the laptop is make sure you disconnect the battery because this is a internal battery and we don't want to short something when plugging or plugging fans and stuff uh, the next thing i do always is double check the the hinges tight the screws because with the time they are getting loose now we're gonna remove the screws on the fan one here we're gonna remove the screws which are holding the cooler also the screws are very soft so make sure you're using the proper tip and also when you try to unscrew them push a little bit and at the same time 
try to twist now we have to disconnect the fan and let's see now there is a cable underneath which is stuck here that's the cable for the power button we're gonna plug it back now I'm gonna stop the video to clean the thermal paste and after that we're gonna continue now I cleaned all thermal paste I disassembled the fan uh, there is two small screws on this side and two clips on that just remove the screws the fan comes off clean it with a brush or something after that use some uh, alcohol to clean the the old thermal paste i already did that in the, for the crystal for the gpu and the cpu so now we have to apply a new thermal paste i use uh, arctic mhx2 you can use uh, mhx2 mhx4 whatever you have available just use not too much we're gonna put on both of the crystals like this when you put the cooler and tie the screws the thermal paste will get uh, even layer and no need to use a finger or something to to make it even now we're gonna tie the screws crossways Now we're gonna put the screws for the BJ chip. And uh, screw for the fan like this double check everything now we have to connect the fan cable here like this double check is everything connected properly especially the fan in a lot of the cases i forgot to plug up the fan and i have to disassemble the laptop again so don't make my mistake uh, when you're sure everything is connected we only have to plug back the battery and we're gonna disassemble assemble the laptop like this now we're gonna put back the cover uh, in that case we have a lot of USB here uh, the HDMI so it's much easier first to put this side because you won't uh, apply pressure on the ports so just make sure you plug them correctly let me try to show you
like this and after that push all the way make sure you click every every part of the back cover now the only thing we gotta do is we have to put all the screws back I'm gonna start with the little ones under the optical drive There is one small screw here on the on the side of the optical drive. The rest of the screws are the same size. So that's the boring part. You can use electrical screwdriver if you like. I like to do it the old fashioned way. Basically, that's the whole procedure. There's a little dust on the outer side. We're gonna clean that. Basically, that's the whole thing. I hope you like the video. Like and subscribe if you do. Bye bye for now.